uh, there are dogs that all have different maturation rates and things like that. And so there are some puppies that look like they don't want to do anything when they're little, and they hit a certain age and they really start to come on. Other puppies are on fire early, but you find that they don't hold up to the rigors of training. There's a difference between energy and motivation, right? There are dogs that are really busy. They want to run all over the place, and they're super energetic, but they don't focus and concentrate well. Like if you ask them to, to work for a reward, they try a little bit. If they don't get it right away, they give up and go do something else. But they're bouncing off the walls, zooming around. So you need to make a distinction between what we would call drive or motivation and just energy levels. They're really spastic, energetic dogs that don't persist in trying to get a reward. And so, and they're puppies that show you nothing that turn out to be maniacs later, and you see other puppies that look really hot and they sort of peter out. So my experience is you can't place too much stock in it. As your puppy gets older, if you know certain things about the breed or the bloodline, then it becomes increasingly good information. So if I have a Malinois puppy from a certain bloodline and it's not doing certain things by a certain age, then I'm relatively certain it's not going to. But that's only because I'm very familiar with that gene pool. And if you start taking different breeds and different dogs and all that kind of stuff, and different bloodlines within a breed, then no. Like there are super slow maturing dogs and really fast maturing dogs. They may wind up at the same place, but they won't look at all alike as puppies. Like German Shepherd puppies, a lot of them are slower maturing. Like one of the best German Shepherds that I ever had years ago, I brought in from Germany as a puppy, and he wouldn't do anything until he was six months old. He was boring as all get out. I mean, he'd take a piece of food from you, but he wasn't interested in training or any of that kind of stuff. He was, he was confident, but didn't care. He's lazy, slept all the time, didn't want to do anything. And then when he was like six months old, it's like suddenly somebody flipped a switch and he went bonkers. Like it, was not, it wasn't even like a gradual buildup. He went overnight, just lost his mind. Like I waved a rag around and he went, bah! and before that he would like, he'd watch it like, nah, 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 like I walk away from you. And, it, and after that he was nuts. So there are weird things that happen developmentally. So I don't place too much stock in it at this age. You just get the puppy and you train what's in front of you. And you do what you think they need and then cross your fingers and wait and see.